gospel, I wanted to read the epistle lesson taken from the letter to the Romans, chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. It's a beautiful lesson, and I wanted to read that this morning instead. From the Orthodox Study Bible, as we should read uh, every single day, we should read scripture. Again, uh, chapter 10, from the letter to the Romans. St. Paul writes, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel, or the people of Israel, is that they may be saved. For I bear them witness that they have a zeal for God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and seeking to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted to the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law, for righteousness to everyone who believes. Moses writes about the righteousness which is of the law. The man who does those things shall live by them. But the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend to heaven? That is, to bring Christ down from above. Or, Who will descend into the abyss? That is, to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is, the word of faith that we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Very short uh, reading. I, it's, it's an extremely rich lesson, though. We can... Not to focus on judgment, because there's an element of judgment. Who will be saved? Who will go to the abyss? Or who will uh, not be saved? This is what uh, St. Paul is warning the Romans and us now in our time and age. It's really amazing that the lessons of Scripture, whether taken from the Gospel lesson or taken from the Epistle lesson and the letters of St. Paul or the other apostles and disciples of Christ, the lessons speak to us very plainly even today. Who will be saved? It's a question that we always ask. We judge, um, as Christians, we can judge other religions or as um, other religions judge, judge us or even within our, in our own faith, within our own friends and family, we can say, oh, you know, they sinned, they're not going to heaven. We can't focus on that. St. Paul says this right now. We understand that righteousness is God's will, that we are to find a way to attempt, again, to find a way to bring Christ into our heart. And then at the end of the lesson, he says, to preach that. That is what salvation actually is. The belief that Jesus rose from the dead. I have a text message. Jesus rose from the dead. Um, this was God's will, obviously. That the righteousness that we have to have is not our own righteousness for our own pride, for our own glory, but to simply seek the righteousness of God. This is St. Paul's will for us, and it's, it's prayer. We should try to do this now. Um, the end of the law, Moses wrote. The end of the, or rather, the, the law of Moses or the Torah, the first five books of the Old Testament, they weren't necessarily complete without Christ. The law was the, the rule of the day until Christ came and continued the lesson and continued the teaching. Our law now is to try to find the will of God to complete our life in that manner, a life of prayer, a life towards Christ, to seek the righteousness of God and not to do anything for our own glory or for our own will. The way of the law, this is from the footnote now, from verses um, 5 through 13 actually, it's almost the entire, um, it continues on, let me see, 10... 5 through 13. So it continues on a few verses. The way of the law and the way of faith are contrasted, whereas mere obedience to the law has always failed. Like in the Old Testament, if we try to find, if we try to do the law to the nth degree, it's just not enough. Faith in Christ brings salvation. Faith does not doubt, but trusts in Christ. Faith makes God near to the believer. 
Faith transforms the whole person, heart, soul, mind, and body. The confession and belief, the belief in the resurrection of Christ, the belief that God or Jesus Christ will save us, seeking the righteousness and the will of God, this confession and this belief, the footnote continues, are more than simply mental acknowledgement that something is true. Rather, this belief refers to placing one's whole trust in the resurrected Christ and living with Jesus as one's Lord. Only the giving of the whole self to Christ is belief unto righteousness. So this is our goal. This is all we have to do. And it's not easy. It's, it seems simple, but it's not. Finding our time to read scripture, to participate in the sacraments, to come to divine liturgy every single Sunday, to partake of the community or the parish. We now in our uh, parish at uh, St. Nicholas, we have Bible camp coming up. Many people are on um, vacation. Many people are attending uh, camp through the church, through the archdiocese, etc. Camp St. Paul in our area. But this is how we connect with God. This is how we learn to do this uh, type of connection, this prayer, our relationship with Christ. This is how we learn to do it on a daily basis. We seek the will of God and we seek God's righteousness and God's glory. And that faith transforms us and brings us into a true relationship with Christ. Have a beautiful weekend. Have a beautiful Sunday and Divine Liturgy. I hope and pray we all may attend to partake of the sacraments and to partake of the fellowship of our brothers and sisters in Christ. God bless you. Have a beautiful weekend.